Before I start the video, I'd like to remind you all that there's going to be spoilers, and that I'm not going to disrespect anybody else's opinion on this episode. So yes, I've watched BFB 28, obviously, and it's left a really cozy and warm feeling in my heart, like no other episode. I'm not saying this is the only good episode in BFB history. Some others were obviously more exciting, suspenseful, etc. But ever since the split, BFB had been going downhill along with the future of Teapot. Many others thought one of these, or even both, were doomed from the start. One series would be somewhat completely different from the other, rather that be the plot, format, or even the animation. I disagree, but except for one thing. BFB, after its separation, had a decent start, but gradually, things got more bumpy along the road. Many complained that Leafy or Lollipop were ruined, as they didn't act the same. Maybe the two were trying to coincidentally change? No. What was there to change about anyways? It was out of the blue that they were acting weird, quote unquote. It was actually Leafy who bothered me, not Lollipop. I don't care about how Lollipop acts, actually. Ah, yes. The Lemon Leaf who's been through so much emotional trauma and abuse. The person who was an outcast amongst everybody else besides Corny. And I thank Corny for that. Uh, a lot. Leafy and Fiery had fought for around 10 years, literally. Fiery kept ignoring her, and at one point, Leafy literally lost her sanity and became murderous around the BFDIA and IDFB where she would be coated with the oil metal and have as many knives as she could hold. On episode 15 of BFB, Fire exposes himself that he does remember Leafy. All this backfires and they end up arguing for the majority of the episode, and even sometimes have conflict in the new era of BFB. And once Leafy and Fire's issues were resolved, Fiery got eliminated. I expected Leafy to have a mental breakdown. It had been years since they were friends. Couldn't they share a few more moments together? After all that pain and suffering and heartbreak, she lets it all go. She watches Fiery get eliminated and is actually calm about it after it. Last time I checked, Leafy got hurt fast and easily and she'd hold grudges for a painfully long time. Surely she should be in agony. Maybe she is on the inside, but to me, this was extremely disappointing. Post-split BFB had terrible pacing for the majority of the series. There was hardly any quarreling between 4 and 2, which a lot of us would quite enjoy. When Teapot came around, it was absolutely fantastic. There were some flaws, but overall, the pacing was alright, and the characters and animation were great. I just hope that for the future episodes. The intro was a completely new style to the series, and it was very creative. I love the major differences between 4 and 2. If everyone were to beat 2 up, 2 would be vulnerable and defenseless as we could see here. Whereas 4 would murder anybody who even charges toward him. They'd be dead before they even laid a single hand on him. 2 is more soft, caring, and reasonable than 4, who always resorts to violence, takes criticism and mistakes very heavily, and abuses his powers whether he's angry or not. And X. They both have showed their rather quote-unquote manipulative and arrogant side, though. X, I don't know, he's just there to be cute. Not much special about him, no offense, he is cute though. Then BFB 28 came along. Here's what you're all actually here for, by the way. The pacing was great. The characters acted themselves, there was enjoyable humor, and it was overall shocking and fascinating. We're all left asking several questions. What happened to the Exeters? What's gonna happen with four? Who will win BFB? And sometimes even much more. There's such an eerie suspense with four submerging into the ground and a shocking twist when the announcer appears. If you are oblivious to the theories. Humor when Gelatin gets the BFB 13 episode challenge wrong and warmth when X learns how to recover. This episode has twisting moments and heartwarming moments, like the reunion of announcer and the BFDI contestants, and how it was heart twisting when Four realized how much more everyone liked announcer. He, he wasn't okay. 
40 contestants have departed the show, and well, I really don't need to explain. Okay X, you quit hosting for a round, 40 contestants quit the game. There is a purple nuisance that you can't get rid of, people keep interfering with the show, you even let one of them join the game. You've lost all control. Everyone may as well choose an announcer over 4, and then he'd be left with nothing but X. He looked utterly shocked, but I could see the hurt in him. Then he revealed his obsessive nature and literally melted into the ground, spreading over the entire desert so nobody can leave him. This led to a heartbreaking moment at the end of the episode. I can't get to that later because I didn't add it in the script. Yeah. But that literally left tears in my eyes. We don't know how far he's traveled, like if it reached Teapot's land. Why Jelton felt so sick after eating the dirt off four, well he did technically eat four four did melt into the ground and if something bad or good will drag along this i can already tell that this isn't good and possibly dangerous for the contestants and announcer so many questions yet to be discovered this episode was just a big bang in general so much craziness happened in it yet they were all paced together so well how they introduced announcer was the best it was humorous shocking and heartwarming Honestly, a mixture of all these three was enough to make it my favorite post-split BFB episode. What do you think about this whole experience? Is it J&J's magnum opus to you? Or your worst nightmare? But, but please be respectful. And stay safe. Don't hate on my channel or I'll break your neck.